welcome to Indie Wrestling Whoa! Expo live from KRI here in beautiful Arlington, Texas. I'm Nigel Ramid. And I'm Big Bo. Who did that? <laughs> And right now in the ring is uh, Miss Outlet is stated, Sweet Jenny Sharp. no love lost between these two competitors. <laughs> I, and, and Plo, you know better than I do. Yeah, these two have gone back and forth and back and forth at DFW All-Pro. At one time, these two made up the Hollywood Sweethearts, a budding tag team that we thought uh, could take the nation by storm. Sweet Jay Sharp had some other thoughts in mind. And uh, yeah, these two, like you said, no love lost, it's personal. And uh, you talk about two of the most impressive, two of the independent wrestlers on the scene that have the most potential. I think they certainly have a tremendous amount of potential. And they, I mean, both of them tremendous look. Uh, we're gonna let the Indie Wrestling Expo fans decide. Oh, and, oh. Jay Sharp just going straight in onto it. Oh, what a <laughs> drop kick. Rocco Montana calls himself the, the starving artist. He says Hollywood is calling. You take one look at this guy and you understand why. And oh, God. Jay Sharp rushing right in. Gets taken down by that power slam. Very wise of Jay Sharp to roll out. Rocco Montana to the outside, give a chase. Jay Sharp just teeing off on Rocco Montana. But Rocco, you know, I was doing a little bit of research, Nigel. These guys have actually met seven times so far in their young careers. Jay Sharp has come out on top six of the seven times. Well, that certainly bodes well for Sharp as uh, he uh, takes a, a very surgical and tactical uh, approach to allowing Rocco Montana into the ring. Not one to, uh, not one to, to, to let a good opportunity slide. Look at this, very smart. Uh, I mean, yeah, using all of the referee's counts, using the rules to his advantage, is what Jay Sharp has done best. I mean, that's, that's, that's what you do, that's how you get job, uh, the job done, that's how you get work done. You're absolutely right, Nigel. Sweet Jay Sharp, of course, recognized by the AIWF as the former America's champion and the former AIWF national champion. Recognized in 44 countries, Nigel. And, and that just speaks to the quality and the talent of Sweet Jay Sharp. Sharp, Irish whip, beautiful hip toss neck breaker, vintage Jay Sharp hooks the leg, two, and Rocco pops that shoulder up at two. V vintage Jay Sharp. Vintage Jay vintage Sharp. Jay oh, Sharp. the hip toss neck breaker has I put away. Beautiful, beautiful, but I don't know. 
I don't know on this young man that there's anything that actually qualifies as vintage. Well, it's classic Jay Sharp then. It's something that Jay Sharp does in every contest. Okay. Should have been scouted by Rocco Montana, but it wasn't. Here comes oh, Jay. Oh, God. Big clothesline. <laughs> that was closer to a right hook. <laughs> Oh, and just stomping on the back of the head, just disres oh, disrespecting Rocco Montana. Well, he's taking the time to tie his boots. Well, I mean, it's, he's just, that's just showing respect, not just to his opponent, but, but to the business at large. Well, it, the problem with that was the other foot was on Rocco's head. You can't expect Jay Sharp to know exactly where Rocco's head is all the time. Jay Sharp now pump handle. And a beauty. Road dog Jesse James would have been proud of that pump handle there. Only got a two count. Jay Sharp taking the time to complain to the referee about his cadence. Oh. Right back to punishing the starving artist. Oh, more of the vintage Jay Sharp. This is called the Jawbreaker, Nigel. Oh. 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 He, he's lucky he didn't break other things. That's right. Well, that's a maneuver that I'm sure Rocco Montana does not want to be in uh, ever again. I, you know, I, I, I can't say that I fault him. As much admiration as I have for Jay Sharp, um, yeah, that's, an, uh, that's an angle and a perspective on him I don't feel that I personally need. Oh, what a knife edge chop, a basement knife edge chop. Well, I mean, if, if your opponent's not going to get out of the basement, then, then you bring the knife edge chop to them. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what Jay Sharp did. Jay Sharp, of course, the leader of the Four Seasons, one of the most affluent groups in all of Texas wrestling. <laughs> Jay Sharp now might be looking to uh, ascend something we're not used to seeing Jay go high risk, Nigel. Oh, oh and Rocco! Ah! Oh! Beautiful overhead, belly-to-belly -belly throw. Hollywood's calling, and Rocco Montana might be calling to put this one away. Big clothesline there. Back elbow. I don't, I don't think that's what Jay meant when he said, pull me down, pull me down, pull me down. Well, he was down. asking to be put down. I, yeah, but I think he was looking for something a little more gentle. Yeah, I don't think Rocco knows how to be gentle when it comes to that. Rocco climbing up the top rope himself. Not somewhere that we're used to seeing Rocco Montana either. I got news. Rock splash. Ooh. Rip, rip it. Two. Oh. oh, thank goodness. That left arm of Jay Sharp shot up. Oh, thank, thank, thank goodness. Thank goodness. That's. I see it. You're done. It's over with. Rocco's saying that Jay's done now. Nice waist lock there. Oh, big eye rake and a stomp on the foot. Very clever on the part of Sharp. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, God. Saido suplex just flipped Montana. Pass over tea kettle. Ooh. Only two. That. Jay Sharp putting his hands on the official, which is never a good thing to do. I mean, the, the, the official is being blatantly biased. How do you feel? I mean, that was at least three and three quarters. I think Rocco Montana might argue that, that point. I don't think Rocco Montana is going to be doing any arguing after that side of the Perched on the top rope now. Jay Sharp might be thinking about a superplex. Perched is a strong word. Well, he was sitting. Well, because he was placed there. He, he certainly was. Yes. He just fought off now. Jay Sharp. Oh, oh, oh what a blockbuster. 
Hollywood loves blockbusters, Nigel. I mean, that's, that's not unfair. Oh, oh, back suplex into a neck breaker. Rocco, two, three. Impressive victory picked up by the starving artist, Rocco Montana, who we're gonna hear from momentarily at, at ringside. You gotta think, Nigel, an incredible upside in the future of both of these men. Absolutely not. Both of these athletes are, are tremendous, very talented, very charismatic. I wish they could be all be as honest as Jay Sharp and not, not, not crooked like uh, like Mr. Montana. As you guys know, me and Jay have a long history. We've been going at it for months, a little over, over two years. And this time I knew that this was my opportunity. I call myself the Starby Artist, and I only got one thing in mind, and that's Hollywood. Thank you all. Well, if I'm Hollywood after that, I mean, I'm calling 